Okay, we're going to open up a new composition in After Effects, and all your settings already are um, set to default, so you don't need to do anything. Just press OK, and it brings you to a new project. We're going to click on our text button and just click anywhere in the screen. You do not have to draw a box. Type what you want to type. I'm going to write Media is Awesome. And then your select tool will allow you to move that text into the middle of the screen. Now, if I want to change the font or look at other fonts, I just click the uh, click the text font up there, highlight it, and then go over here and um, scroll through and just choose what I want. You can actually just arrow down, and it'll allow you to preview each one before you select it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stick with that one. I'm going to click my Move tool and center it again. Now I want to go over to my Effects and Presets tab on the right hand side and the very first tab says Animation Presets. I'm going to click that and I'm going to find the text folder because we're wanting to apply um, an effect to a text. So all of these right here have different effects that you can drag on top of your text. I'm going to go to Animate In and I'm just going to choose the center spiral, the first one. Drop it on your words and let go. Now you press your space bar to preview it and watch what happens and press your spacebar to stop and I'm going to do control Z which takes that effect off just to go try another one so you can just keep pulling them on there pressing your spacebar watching it go and then press control Z because control Z takes off the effect now for the final one I'm going to go through and look and choose the graphical and I'm just going to randomly choose one of these and drag it on top of my text. I'm going to let go, press the space bar. Good. And when that effect is completed and done, I'm going to press the space bar to stop it. Now the very end, there's this yellow little tab. I need to pull it all the way to where the space bar, where I stopped it. Otherwise, it'll export a huge long 30 second file and you don't want that. So now I'm going to go to composition, do add to render queue. And I have this um, little yellow button over here that says lossless or this tab. I'm going to click the arrow. I want to change that. That's your file extension to an FLV. And then I'm going to double click the not yet specified, the output on the right hand side and choose where I want to save it to and what I want to name it. So in this one, I'm just going to save it to my desktop. I'm going to name it media is awesome. It's already an FLV file and I just press save. Now the very last thing we do after we press save on the right hand side is the render button. We click render and then you can watch that yellow bar progress and you can also watch your effect up in the project box. So when you actually export or when you render this at the very end it'll make this doo -doo 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 noise. Yes, I know. Um, but that's how you know it exported correctly. So when that's all done we're going to minimize that and then go to your desktop where we export it to and play it. Always go through and look at what you export to make sure that it exports correctly and just play it. And that's all you do. So you can import this just as a video file into your Premiere Pro, but that's the most simple basic way to create a title slide in After Effects um, using that program.